the money. Before Hamlet said, to be or not to be. Before God said, let there be light. English teachers around the globe have been repeating the same phrase over and over again for centuries. Listen closely. For this announcement is likely to be the greatest profundity since the dawn of mankind. Watch, Watch your apostrophes. Write this down because I am not saying it again. Watch your apostrophes. Apostrophes may be used to indicate possession and should never be used to pluralize. For example, James Dodd. Likewise, they may be used in contractions. For example, don't do that work. That's mine. But keep in mind, I frown on contractions. Ultimately, an incorrect usage of the apostrophe would go something like this. I like trees or smell the roses. Does everyone understand? I said, does everyone understand? Is anyone listening? I just gave a very important speech about the apostrophe. <laughs> Hello? Like I said, they've been going on like this for years. But we've never said anyone's been listening. Excessive apostrophication is a major problem in today's society, and it is our duty to remedy the situation. Tonight, we will focus on the students and faculty of Westfield High. I trust Westfield High not because the dilemma is any worse than other schools, although it's not any better, but rather because it proves a point. If a problem exists in Westfield, it most certainly exists elsewhere. As we observe these teachers and pupils, perhaps we can understand the wherefore and why apostrophes have taken over the world. The sooner we discover those reasons, the quicker we can stop on them. Then, and only then, <clears throat> may we prevent apostrophes from being used willy-nilly. So watch closely. Or this could be a long night. Nobody is, is going, going home until we fix this. <laughs> so we've already seen what goes on in this classroom. Obviously the teacher is trying to do her job, but she's rather like a sedative, isn't she? Obviously this approach will not do. Sleep tight, kids. So let's approach these two athletes as they attempt to set a world record for the longest ping pong match. Things are going well. Soon we'll be duking it out over cupcakes, paddles, and punctuation. And six. So, what are you going to do about this, Mr. Tripp? 
I don't quite know. But in the meantime, how about you help me uh, hang up this here banner? Uh, what's it for? Well, Great, you can fit our entire vocabulary on a fortune cookie. 
Hey, guys. Hi, Mrs. Unger. Hello. Mm. Elbo is rubbing Paul's all alone. I told you not to let her do that. She can't read any of the signs. Wait, where was she? In the boys' locker room. You're not supposed to be in there. Yeah! Oh, man, she's been here for six months, and she cannot speak a word of English. The only two words she's learned in that period of time are hello and yes. Exactly why she's not allowed in the boys' locker room. <laughs> well, uh, Dan is here, allowed Helga to work on this page of the yearbook. Good thing I caught it, or else we'd all be blacklisted. The underdogs get pummeled. Oh dear. Helga did this? Yes! Oh why, oh why did she sign up for yearbook? There were only two classes open. Yearbook or debate. I think she made the right choice. Yeah! <laughs> Janice, did you put Helga up to this? Janice! Don't pester her. She's busy reading the National Enquirer. Oh really? Is Dolly Parton still on that space mission to Mars? Hey, Jake, she just stopped an alien. Way to go, Dolly. Oh, Mrs. Unger, aren't you going to do anything about the situation at hand, Mrs. Unger? Fine, I will take care of this all by myself once again. No more. Working on the yearbook. Yeah! Just sit here quietly. Yeah! You have no idea what I'm saying, do you? Yeah! You're an idiot, aren't you? Yeah! Okay, this is absurd. Here's a question that you are bound to get right. Are you from Germany? Jeez Louise, won't anybody help me? Hey look, Jayla gave birth to a hippopotamus. Let me see that. Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? Yeah! Well, I'd say this proof is proof positive that the English language is on the verge of a breakdown. We bury our heads and eventually our intelligence in mindless gossip. Whether it be the yearbook or the National Enquirer. And I just want to take a little look-see at this paper. Apostrophes. Plus a weird little German girl who has no idea what an apostrophe is. But that's besides the point. The point is, have we come to any conclusion regarding this issue? No, really, I'm asking. Are you awake? Yes. Yeah. If you can hear me out there, yell, yay! Yay! You can do better than that. Come on, yay! Yay! Now repeat after us. I know. I know. The reason why. The reason why. Apostrophication is running rampant through the halls of Westfield High and every other school in the entire free world. Except That's perhaps in Antarctica. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Close enough. But the point is, you're all a bunch of liars. You still have no clue why we purposelessly perpetuate this particularly punishing <laughs> punctuation. <laughs> She got it out, right? Mr. Price didn't think she would. <laughs> Purposely perpetuate this particularly punishing punctuation. Purposely perpetuate this particularly punishing punctuation. Purposely perpetuate this particularly punishing punctuation. <sighs> Shouldn't I get an A for that? Yes. <laughs> anyway, I think we should see the flip side of the coin before we can make a proper diagnosis. It's not fair to assume that all people use apostrophes with reckless abandon. For every hundred or so people who overuse them, there's one who leaves them out entirely. Here's a sympathy, our last example, I promise. Unless you don't get it out right, in which case we're prepared to keep you here as long as it takes. 
So watch closely or it could be a long day. This is the principal's office, Sam. Oh, I'll just let you figure out the rest. Kevin, all the teachers have noticed a change in your demeanor. You've always been a quiet sort, but your English teacher noticed that you've been retreating more and more from class discussions. Is there something that you'd like to talk about? Nope. He also said that you flunked the last four exams. Yep. Any reason why? Nope. I had a look at the exams and I know why you failed them. Do you know why you failed them? Yep. Can you please say something other than nope and yep? Nope. Because it feels like your answers are on revolve. Yep. You failed the test because you left out all the apostrophes. Yep. Two yeps in a row making progress. Nope. <sighs> oh no. What are you doing? Nothing. Don't you dare. I'm not going anywhere. I said no. Why? My feet don't stay. Kevin, we know you're a bit odd, but we've asked you time and time again not to do this. Hello, Principal Leo. Boy, you're looking good today. I won't do it, Kevin. I won't talk to the puppet. What well, puppet? I don't see a puppet. Do you, Kevin? See? No puppet here, Principal Leo. Just me, your old pal Lex. I think you're seeing things. Kevin, we know you like to be left alone, but frankly, it worries the faculty. They made a sock puppet into your best friend. You're just jealous. No, why would I be jealous? Ha ha, you talked to me. You said you wouldn't talk to me, but you did. You are a liar, Principal Leo. I'm not a liar! Then you did it again. You talked to me. Let's just calm down. You're jealous because I'm Kevin's friend and not yours. Kevin, that does it! You think that can stop me? I can still talk, you know, even with your hand over my mouth. Ha, ha. <laughs> Kevin, I didn't want to have to do this, but I have no choice. No, 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 no. You can Yes, I can! Then you did it again. You talked to me. That does it!
bug me. It means you belong to something. Jane's dog or Bob's cat. I don't belong to anything. I've never belonged to anything in my entire life. Stop. Go back. What? <clears throat> they bother us. It means you belong to something. Stop. Go back. What? It means you belong to something. Stop. Go back. No, no way. way. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK, move on. Sorry, just a little power trip. Won't happen again. But did you hear that? It means you belong to something. Could this be the great group we've been waiting for? I think it is. Better yet, I know it is. We'll explain this slowly. So, we can deduce if that the reason why he uses a, he's afraid to use a, he doesn't use apostrophes, because he's afraid to belong to something, we can deduce that the reason everyone else uses apostrophes so frequently is because they want to belong. Phew, we did it! We said we did it! Yeah. Thank you, yeah. a little applause! Yeah. So, now that we figured out the problem, we can fix it. Figuring out's the hard part, fixing is the easy part. Oh dear, I hope that figuring it out was the hard part, because if fixing it's the hard part, we are never going home. Don't worry, we have coffee. So don't get any big ideas about leaving. <laughs> we'll think of something. I know, I'll close my eyes and you send me your thoughts. I'm waiting. You guys stink at telepathy. <laughs> Hey there! What do you want? I want to help you. Really? How? I know how to stop with the apostrophes. Hey, I told you to send the ideas to me, not her! First of all, I don't know why you didn't come to me in the first place. I've known all along why people used an overabundance of apostrophes. You could have saved these people a lot of time. If you knew, why didn't you say anything? Come to think of it, why haven't you been teaching your students all along that apostrophes represent their subconscious desire to belong? You try selling a psycho babble to teenagers. I prefer to draw endlessly like all the other teachers. How motivational of you. Listen, I learned long ago that it doesn't matter what I have to say. Year after year goes by, and I keep seeing the same thing. Students listen for the first couple of weeks, and then English class turns into nap time. It's not that they don't care, but because it takes a lot of energy to connect with one another. I don't follow. I'll prove it to you. I'll show you that each of these five kids here, in some way or another, feels that they don't belong and therefore have to work extra hard in order to fit in. Go right ahead. This is Annie. A bit of a brown noser, but even she throws an extra punctuation from time to time. Annie, wake up. Sorry, ma'am, shouldn't fall asleep, ma'am. What can I do for you, ma'am? At ease. Or not. Annie, what was I talking about in class today? Punctuation, ma'am. What kind of punctuation? Um, the kind you write down, ma'am. You don't remember, do you? No, ma'am. I was napping, ma'am. It won't happen again, ma'am. Do you remember what you were doing before class? Yes, ma'am. I was studying, ma'am. With whom? Nobody, ma'am. Thank you, Annie. That's all I need. No problem, ma'am. Go back to sleep. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was that supposed to prove something? She said she was studying, but she was obviously more concerned about finding a study partner than she had a perfect score. You saw how upset she got when I mentioned being alone. She did seem a little glum. Now this is Babs. It's sometimes